we've gone from being really a partner to the international oil companies in Norway to developing our own operating capability. So now Statoil operates 80% of the oil and gas that's produced in Norway. We aspire uh, to uh, the, the values that you see here, to openness, courageousness, being hands-on and caring. So citizen users of data, I think, is becoming more and more important, and I think that is uh, part of the sort of shifting space of democracy. Statistics may help you find causal relations, but they don't necessarily tell you that there are causal relations. Certainly in society we are falling in love with statistics and, and the idea of making use of all this data that's out there. The danger is that we are missing so many of the subtleties that make sense of it. Homer Simpson. He says, he says um, you can have statistics to prove anything. About 14% of us knows that. <laughs> Statistically, that's a fantastic correlation. And it is between lemons imported from Mexico and US highway fatality rate. <laughs> How much do you feel that the use of statistics is an abuse of people who have information against people that don't have information, generally attempting to manipulate you into doing a certain action by a certain product or acting in a certain way? The winner will be the person with the most number of points after five questions, or potentially, if there's a tie, maybe more, but that's statistically very unlikely. Please come up onto the stage and Katie will present you with your brand new iPad. <laughs>